I have five minutes of peace and quiet. I've given the kids their lunch and they're in the lounge watching Netflix. I have no shame. And I'm gonna take the opportunity to tell you about my favorite products for the last month or so. I don't have loads and loads to share with you because I haven't been buying a lot, but the things that I do have, I have really, really loved. And some of them have really helped to cheer me up and keep me going in what has felt like the longest month ever. So hopefully you will enjoy hearing about them. And if you have something that has really helped you get through the month that you'd like to share with everyone, then do leave it in the comments so that we can all get involved because um, I have a feeling we have another long month ahead of us. So I'm going to start with what I'm wearing actually because I haven't bought many clothes lately. In fact, I think maybe two or three things that I can think of off the top of my head. And when I'm not in leggings, I'm in this or the other version of this that I have. And these are ASOS sweater dresses. They're basically huge oversized sweatshirts and they're long, they come down to sort of mid thigh. They're so comfy, they're warm enough to wear when you go out for a walk. I wear mine with black tights and boots and it's just a really nice alternative to leggings and jogging bottoms, which is what I wear 95% of the time. But when I want to make that little bit extra effort, which is rare, I will go for something like this and it's just super comfy and cozy. I tried on some jeans yesterday and it was not a happy moment for me. It's safe to say I won't be doing that again for a while. But these, yeah, I wanted to recommend them just because of how comfortable they are, but you do feel like you're wearing something other than loungewear. Um, I mean, you probably won't be able to see, but it has a print on the back. This one is like a dragon or something on the back of this one. I have one which is a washed out charcoal gray color. I will leave links to all the ones that are still in stock. They're really well priced as well. I think this was about 28 pounds and I had it with a 20% off voucher. So t just over 20 quid and I've worn it loads. So if you're in the market for something that's not leggings, then definitely worth a look. Next up is a Beauty Pie product that I've re-bought for I think the second or maybe even third time and I didn't use it for a while, really noticed a difference so I had to buy it again. I'm kind of, I like Beauty Pie products, there's a few that I really rate and I will buy over and over again but I'm starting to resent the £10 a month charge because I don't buy from there every month so I will buy another couple of things when this runs out. This probably lasts me about three months, maybe slightly longer. So. I can't really do the maths of it to work out whether or not that's worth paying monthly for the discount I then get when I buy or whether I should look for an alternative to this from another brand. So I'm kind of on the fence. I, the things that I like from there, I really like, but I don't need to purchase something monthly, if that makes sense. This is a hyaluronic acid. I haven't even told you that bit yet, have I? and it really does make a difference to my skin in terms of hydration and kind of radiance, I would say, but I'm sure there are other products that do just as good a job, I just haven't found them yet. So if you use a hyaluronic acid that you really rate, especially if you've also tried this one, then let me know what that other one is and I might try that next and see how they compare. But if you are a Beauty Pie member and you haven't tried this product yet, I would definitely say it's worth a try. The other beauty products is two more actually. The first one is a shampoo. I get a really irritating patch of dry skin. I don't know, I wouldn't say it's eczema because I've never had eczema anywhere else. It kind of looks a bit like cradle cap, you know when babies have that on their scalp. It's that sort of texture of skin right here on my hairline and it does kind of extend a little bit into my hair as well and I just can't seem, or I couldn't seem to shift it. It just kept flaring up again and then it would flake a little bit. It was just a bit, oh, hello, boo. And then it would, sorry, dog. It would um, flake a little bit as well, which was gross and itch. So after maybe day two or three, I tried to wash my hair only twice a week. And after day two, it would start to irritate me and it's been bugging me for months. I have some shampoo and conditioner that I love, which is, um, Purology. I'll link that as well if you're on the lookout for a good hair range because that is really, really good, but it wasn't sorting this out. Long story short, this has helped. This is the Aveeno Skin Relief Soothing Shampoo. It says it relieves very dry and sensitive scalp. I would say I have a sensitive scalp. I wouldn't say I have a very dry scalp, like all over, just this little bit here. So I don't know, look into it and see if you think it'll work for you. Just taking it out of my shower so it's still wet um 
but yeah in terms of that little patch of skin there for me it seems to be helping then the last beauty bit which sadly i've seen this sponsored by so many people sadly this isn't sponsored in my video i bought it myself but it was based on all the recommendations that i have seen other people give online and it's the spotlight oral care whitening system uh, i've wanted to whiten my teeth properly for ages it's something that's really bugged me and i've tried crest whitening strips in the past i ordered them from some kind of seller that gets them from america and it just all felt a little bit mm, am i 100 percent sure that i can trust what i'm buying so when i came across these i was much more confident with purchasing from a company direct rather than through a middleman this came as a set and they had a really good discount on post christmas but they have discounts all the time and the set included the sonic toothbrush the whitening toothpaste both of which i really like so far i've been using them for just over a month now and i feel like i can see a difference but the biggest difference was from the whitening strips i've now this is an empty pouch but they come in here you get a two week supply i think the price is fairly reasonable i'll link all the details for you but this definitely made a difference to the color of my teeth i wish i had done a before and after it's not like dramatic like ross from friends moment but it definitely was a noticeable difference for me so i will probably do this every so often i'll have to look into how regularly they recommend you do it but if i could do it maybe every other month or something just to keep on top of it then that is what i will do up until i bought these i was just using a manual toothbrush i hadn't had an electric toothbrush for ages so i for me it really has been a big jump and a big difference so i highly recommend and i haven't brought it down with me i should have to show you but i also bought a water flosser in fact that is definitely one of my favorites how stupid why didn't i bring that down it's basically i hate flossing i should just say before i tell you about it i find it i don't know i find it really difficult to to do i just don't like the sensation of it so as a result i don't really do it because i find it unpleasant in general but water flossing is a revelation why have i not thought of that before and i had heard of them basically if you're not familiar with it and i think you can get air flossers as well but the water flosser just directs a really intense blast of water at your gum line it does hurt a little bit if you don't direct it properly so beware of that especially when you've just charged it and it's got its full whack of power but it does dislodge some stuff which obviously would otherwise just live between your teeth which is really grim and now that i do it i definitely will keep it up because i can see what it removes that would have just been left there otherwise again that's from amazon most of these things are from amazon because let's face it who goes anywhere anymore my next favorite is quite niche and i've undenied about doing a whole video on this so if you would like to see a video on it then let me know because when i was considering buying it because it is quite an investment i did hours of research loads of youtube videos tiktok instagram blogs i read the lot so if you'd like me to contribute my thoughts to it then let me know and i will but i bought a peloton hear me out because it is a big investment and i know a year ago i definitely would never have dreamt of making that um kind of a investment i need and this is something i've realized especially in the last six months i need a release from exercise more now than i ever have before in the last few months i've really felt it i'm sure a lot of us have i run when i can but my husband works a lot it's hard to get out and getting up and out really early in the morning in the winter i could do it if i really pushed myself and i really wanted to but it's just tough going i don't like to start the day any earlier than i really need to to be honest in the winter i really need that exercise and in terms of an investment in myself and my mental health i feel like it's just made a world of difference i've had it a few weeks now i do it every morning without fail so far i'm aware i'm only a couple of weeks in you get a 30-day trial with it as well so if you really feel like it's not something for you or it doesn't fit in with your lifestyle or you just don't think you're going to keep it up then you can return it no questions asked no charge within those 30 days so that is what kind of prompted me to give it a go at least but in the few weeks i've had it i can honestly say 
it has made a massive difference mostly mentally for me there is a slight i can feel that i'm a bit stronger and i'm getting a bit of tone where i didn't have it before but that's minimal for me it's the benefits mentally i feel like a different person starting my day than i did before and obviously you can achieve that just through doing an at-home workout on YouTube with a yoga mat and some hand weights. You don't need a big piece of equipment like that. But for me, after all the research I did and the whole, it's, it's the live classes and the stats that you get. And I loved spinning years ago. I used to go to spin classes, really enjoyed them and found that they were the best form of exercise for me. I like that short, sharp burst of exercise. 30 minute classes every morning. That's what I've been doing and it has transformed my day so far i just feel brighter lighter happier more positive and for me you can't put a price on that really and even though it is quite a pricey investment um i just plan to make cutbacks elsewhere so that i don't notice the the cost per month so much but as i said if you'd like to hear more about it i am um, more than willing to do a video on it so do let me know in the comments if it's something you're curious about two tv favorites that i've loved on netflix the first is cobra kai we watched it right at the beginning of the new year we just love cobra kai in this house it's really cheesy but that's what makes it great it's got this like 80s retro karate kid obviously vibe to it and it's just really easy to watch and good fun to watch so we loved that one and the second one which again is a little bit more niche and specific to me at the moment particularly is surviving death and it's a documentary about various things to do with the afterlife so people who've had near-death experiences and mediums and all that kind of thing and i found it weirdly comforting and just a good thing to watch at the moment it helps me to kind of process some things and it is just really interesting i find that kind of thing and i've always found that kind of spiritual subject fascinating so it has been a good watch for me so let me know have you watched either of those two series in the comments and what are you watching at the moment that you would recommend to can you see that somebody's going in the fridge um the day she learned to open the fridge was uh, a bad day my final favorite for the month is my hello fresh subscription and if you saw my last video you will have seen me talk about it we've are uh, just coming up to the end of our second week of doing it it's not something i will do long term because of the cost but they had such a good offer on that it actually worked out cheaper than doing my regular food shop so i had to give it a go and it has been so good to discover new recipes all the family have enjoyed them so far and the great thing is now i can just use those recipes going forward i don't have to always do it through hello fresh somebody's coming into the room so i'm gonna have to wrap this up but if you haven't tried it and you can get hold of a really good discount definitely worth a go in fact they've sent me a voucher which if you use it you get 20 pounds off and then i think i get some money off if i order another box i don't know if i will order any more okay but i will leave you the discount in case you want to try it and get 20 pounds off it is worth it just for trying some new recipes i would say i've thoroughly enjoyed it so far and for the price i got it for it's well worth it Marnie is now helping herself to a packet of quavers from the cupboard. So I think that's the end of this video. Open Hello. It. Okay, I'll open it. Thank you so much for watching. My favourites that are keeping me sane this month. Let me know, as I said, if you've got any that you'd like to recommend in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Give the video a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.